Hello everybody, what's going on and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode. I hope you're all doing well. We're back today as we begin our journey with our new club. It's the January transfer window and we join up with Atletico Madrid in Spain. So we showed you our end, uh, if you like, of our Norwich career. I also showed you the stats that we finished on for the Premier League season. If the season still plays out, I will try to keep up with how Norwich are getting on in the Premier League. But as we joined up with our new club, we had a massive game to start our career off. Our debut is in a Madrid derby in a Supercoppa semi-final. So that game comes at you live as the first game of the day. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And let's head off into game one. Here is Edna Militao, dispossessed by Serge Nabry, who finds us with the ball too. We are in a bit of a deeper role for Atletico in this 4-4-2 formation. And already looking lively inside 11 minutes, all the way into the penalty area, pulling it back for Dembele. And Alderweireld stops the first goal of this game. Moussa Dembele with the shot. Couldn't quite get it past Alderweireld. But yeah, the, uh, I accidentally skipped past the team selections. I wanted to show you them in our first game. Uh, but we partner Saul in the midfield too. Of course, Atletico do play with that 4-4-2 formation. Up front, it is Moussa Dembele and Jao Felix. So lots of quality on show here. As Paul Pogba's attempted pass out wide towards Erdegaard. Will find his feet. Erdegaard sends it into the box. And Oblak comes out to claim it. Didn't do a great job. But in the end, we get away with it. Eder Militao into the feet of Pogba, who takes it well. Exchanges passes with Verratti. We are over the allotted time here, referee, as that ball goes out wide to Erdegaard. If they get a crossing now and score, this will be a bit controversial. Free kick given. Ref, we've played two minutes more than we should have. If this goes in, controversy is, uh, is what I'll say. As Dembele heads it away, and that will do us for the first half of football here. Saul got the chance to play as the ball. Here's Dembele through and he gets there ahead of Courtois. And Atletico take the lead in the Madrid derby in this semi-final. Moussa Dembele's got it. It's our first assist as well for our new club. I wasn't sure when I played the ball through that Dembele was going to get there ahead of Courtois. He was a little bit slow coming out there, the Belgian goalkeeper. And it was Dembele who reached it first. And he pokes it home. Atletico won Real Madrid nil in a game that's hardly had anything to separate the two sides. But if that's the goal that wins it, then we're going through to a final. Is it the Super Copa? I think this is, not the Copa de España? Um, unless it's the same cup, I actually don't know. But Moussa Dembele scores the opener. Atletico seemingly very comfortable in possession though, as we find Dembele who tries to flick it off and he's just been able to do it. Dembele goes for the pass instead. We tried to side foot it. It's fallen for Saul. Offside, it won't count. I was about to go nuts celebrating because that would have done it. Saul though is offside, says the official on that far side. I don't know if it's right or not. And uh, it seems like we're not going to get a replay here to actually check that. I thought Dembele, when he did the flick up and actually got the space, was just going to volley it top bins. But then he played a, a passing towards us. I took it first time, tried to side foot it and place it rather than put any power behind it. And that didn't pay off. Luka Jovic now then with five minutes to play for Real to find an answer, which so far has eluded them. Pogba to Jovic. Jovic trying to work his way through. And in the end, Atletico do defend it. Maxi Gomez has come on for Dembele as that pass through is offside to Serge Nabry. So... We're chewing down the clock and we are two minutes away from seeing the game out. There's another change. Higuain's on. I believe that's Nabry who's just come off. Are you telling me Higuain is playing on the wing? He's got like 50 pace or something. Hazard into the feet of Valverde. Back towards Eden Hazard who's had a very quiet night here. As Real Madrid look for a late chance. Valverde back towards Mendy. Mendy into the feet of Jovic. Ten seconds left. Mendy needs to get the cross in and it's got to be now. And he has done. But it's simple for us to deal with. And in our first Madrid derby as a player, in fact, in our debut as an Atletico player, there's arguably not much more than a bigger game than this. But we had our say on the game, playing the ball through for Dembele to score the only goal in the game. And there he is, the match winner, Moussa Dembele. Madrid derby, it finishes. Atletico won, Real Madrid nil. So as it turns out, the Super Copa is played for by the teams who win and then come runner-up of the uh, Copa de España, and also the winners and the runner-up of the league itself. I don't know how it works if teams 
um, you know, are two of those, i.e. if they win the league and end up coming runners-up in the Copa de España. I don't know how that all works. Um, but we've actually got a final coming up next. So a real treat for you today, as not only have we just played Real Madrid in the semis, we're now playing Barca in the final itself. Um, so yeah, who was actually in this one? as I didn't mean to change the competition. Actually, I haven't even shown you the league table yet as well. So Sevilla were the other team in it alongside Barca, and they were beaten 4-1. So I think that's the way the Super Copa works. Anyway, do let me know in a comment below if I've got that wrong, but I do believe it's the league winners and league runners-up, and also the uh, Copa de España winners and the Copa de España runners-up too. So yeah, let me know if I've got that wrong. But in fact, while we're here, let's show you the league table then and see what's been going on. So right now... Barcelona topping La Liga on 50 points. Real Madrid in second on 48. And we sit third on 48 as well. Real Madrid and Barca unbeaten in the league as well on top of that. So this is, looks like it's been a very close season here. And one that we can just jump straight into. And have hopefully quite a fun time of things in this next six months for Atletico. I didn't plan on winning La Liga in our first six months here. But if that's the way it goes, then so be it. Um... So we'll play against Barca in this final. I'll probably play it a bit longer as it is a final, actually. Make it a bit of an event for you. And then we'll see what we uh, we do moving forward. I'm probably going to play Valodid as a post-con match. But for the first final, then, in Atletico Colors, this is our first ever opportunity of winning some silverware. We have yet to win any silverware in our uh, career. So, yeah, this is quite a big game. Here we go then for the final of the Super Copa. And coincidentally, it's actually being held at the Wanda Metri, uh, Metropolitano. Let's get it right for once, DJ. Uh, but yeah, that's actually our home ground, I believe. So home advantage, except we're technically the away team for this one. There is the trophy on offer. And with it being our first shot at silverware, I have to say I really want to get my hands on this one. So I'd say if you're looking at the two teams, I've, uh, I've actually checked out Barca's team previous, but we'll get to see it here. Of course, Messi is in that team. And we did have the opportunity to play with Lionel Messi at Barca had we have gone there. But we turned that opportunity down. So this is going to be the first time that we play against them since that happened. The players to watch, Messi, Dembele. Dembele scored uh, the only goal of that semi-final game against Real. So it's understandable as to why he is the player to watch for the game. But there's plenty of players to watch in this one. It's jam-packed full of superstars this game. And it's one that uh, the neutral is hopefully going to enjoy a lot. Frankie de Jong still there. Coutinho, Artur. I mean, we'll get to see the big, uh, the sorry, the starting 11, not the big starting 11. We'll get to see the full squad of starting 11 players in a moment once it does pop up. But I'm excited for this game. So here it is then, the Barcelona 11 on the screen for you. De Jong, Coutinho and Artur in that midfield three. Now we've got to try and dominate the midfield here. It's the 4-4-2 again by Atletico Madrid, as you would expect, with Dembele and Felix leading the line. So all of myself in the two central midfield areas, but Koke and Egerstein, who both aren't wingers, are starting in the wide areas. So I, I kind of feel like they just, you know, go a bit more central and we then dominate as a four-man midfield as opposed to the wingers. But we'll see how the game plays out as Chiro Mobile gets us underway for the Super Copa final. Didn't expect to be playing in a final so early into Atletico career, but that's the way it's panned out. Here is Moussa Dembele looking for a quick one-two. Artur cuts it out. You might notice as well, we are now wearing the number 10 shirt. I did actually pick 11 when I joined the club. That was because it wasn't held by anybody. Number 10 is uh, is actually held by Higuain, but it's done the glitch where it gives me the number I previously once had. So I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll put a little poll out there. What number do you think we should take at the Atletico? Stick with the number 11 that nobody has or go with number 10 and take it off of Higuain. But forget about numbers for the moment because we have ourselves a corner just under 15 minutes played. So I was delivering towards the box. De Jong heads it back into the danger area. Dembele out to Koke, whose shot is blocked. Calero back into Egerstein. And to Stegen makes a smart stop at his near post. Breakaway is on here. Atletico coming forward from their own corner. Felix is sent through by us. He has to go in alone, though. There's a lot of bodies between us and the pass from Jao Felix. His shot is straight at to Stegen, who's done very well. Dembele, we found the ball in towards him. Great play by Dembele. Ball off through to Felix. And it's straight at to Stegen. I didn't actually mean to play the pass. I, uh, I was asking for the through ball, and Dembele read my mind completely and had already played the pass in a time scale of me asking for it. So... 
The through ball was unintentional, but it actually worked out. And uh, Felix's effort was saved by Ter Stegen as a change comes through. Kolasinac on for Solano at left back. Felix in towards Higuain. Higuain will find Saul back towards Felix. The run is being made through the middle. Jao Felix finds us. Is this the chance? Atletico are waiting for. Tried to place it with the left foot. We saw us do this a couple of times in the last episode for Norwich. Just didn't quite catch this one right. And that's the first time I've really even had a look in at goal. Alexander-Arnold sends the cross towards the edge of the area. Arter helps it on his way to Neres. Who's... What is that? David Neres has surely won it for Barcelona with four minutes left. That is quality. <sighs> what a goal. Neres has just spun and first time left-footed volleyed it into the back of the net. I, honestly, at this point, there was no worry in my mind. I was thinking, this is fine. When I saw Arter help it on its way, but then all of a sudden, Neres just, he didn't even look where the goal was or where or Black was. He just seemingly knew where they were. And that is sheer class from David Neres. Is it David Neres or David? I don't even know, but... For a, for a team that involves Messi, he's had a quiet night. And Neres is the one who's going to write his name in the Super Copper history books here with the winning goal, it feels like. We tried to give as good as we've got here. We have done for large parts, but when it's mattered most with four minutes left, we've been unable to defend. Now Higuain, he's come on for Dembele. We found Egerstein. Is there still one more chance in this for Atletico? To Stegen will punch that away towards the edge of the area. We brought it down under control. Artur is with us. And Artur makes the challenge. I tried to open up some space. The referee, though, has given us a free kick and a lifeline. Felix stood over this. Last few minutes. Ciao, Felix. Over the crossbar. And you feel that time is out for Atletico Madrid. And just to let you know as well, we've got Barcelona coming up in the league. In, uh, in the next, not the next game, the game after that. So, yeah, we get a rematch against them. However, when it's mattered in a final, it looks like we're going to fall short and, uh, in this final, which is frustrating. However, it makes us hungry for more success, doesn't it, in the future? Unless there's one more chance in this. Higuain back towards Barella. Barella to Lodi. Lodi now needs to make something happen with a minute left. We have to get this ball forward. Higuain towards Felix. Miranda steps in. Alexander-Arnold, now Lengley, now Stones. And that is it. Barcelona so calm at the back. They win the Super Copa. We've unfortunately lost the first piece of silverware we fought for. Celebrations will be with Barca. But for us, hopefully this makes us hungry now to go on and try and win the, uh, the La Liga trophy. Because that is the real fight. Two points behind. Barca in third place. We're very much in a fight. And that is the one we want the most, of course. The Super Copa would have been brilliant. We'll watch Barcelona get to lift it. No music because it's not us who have come out on top here. Messi will get his hands on yet another trophy. The Goats. And here he is then to lift it. Barca Super Copa champions. There'll be another time for Atletico. But tonight, it's their night. Barcelona's night indeed and before we would get the opportunity to get our revenge against them in La Liga we had to play against Valodin and it turns out as well the Copa de España draw had been made and we would face off against Granada so that game also was before the Barcelona one but that was thrown in there um, just before I'd, uh, I'd realised. So, two games of highlights to show you as postcom. The first of which is a La Liga debut against Valodid. And sometimes when you make a big money move to a new club, the wait for a goal can be quite frustrating. But we have not had to wait long at all. 52 minutes in to a La Liga debut. We turned on the edge of the area, found our way through, and with our favoured left foot, smashed it into the top right corner and uh, celebrated our first goal for our new team. So, it's always nice when you can get it nice and early and it lifts a massive amount of pressure from your shoulders. You don't want to be waiting too long for your first goal, especially with all the money that uh, Atletico have paid for us. I don't exactly know the exact fee, um, but I can imagine with our valuation being nearly £80 million, that it's probably quite expensive. So, 
like I said, we dominated the game. We should have been 2-0 in front. Uh, we had a chance there. And then 20 minutes from time, Jao Felix, a little bit of trickery, flicked it up on the edge of the area before unleashing the left-footed volley. Denied by the goalkeeper. Six minutes from time again. Jao Felix, I believe it was, as we laid it through. Should have done better with this shot, to be fair. Um, but it was a very snap shot, so I'll, I'll let him off as it was dragged wide. We got the three points, though, in the end. A very slender win, and our, our goal was enough for the win. But we, we never really looked in doubt in terms of conceding a goal. So, yeah, all we needed to do was find the breakthrough, and we did that after only 52 minutes. So, pretty comfortable for us. And following that, as mentioned, the Copa de España tie against Granada, away from home. We may not have won the Super Copa, but we get a second chance at a cup competition with the Copa de España, provided... We can get through against Granada here. And again, our finishing was a little bit lacklustre on the day. But with, uh, with about 25 minutes to go, we had a chance, a really good chance as well. Dembele shot saved from close range. So you could see the game was going to be a frustrating one for us. Jao Felix found us here on the edge of the area. And eventually, we laid it back towards him. And yet again, put wide. So... All we uh, were trying to do was find the breakthrough that just was not coming. But with 15 minutes to play, we got our first goal in the last game. We bagged our second goal. And the technique on this is sensational. The outside of the left boot into the bottom corner. The same celebration that we showed for our first goal. Let me know if you like it. If you don't, I'll happily change it. Uh, we've actually unlocked some more as well through the achievements. So I'll take a quick look and see if there's... A better one that I like the look of. But for now, that's the celebration we're going with. Look at the technique on this outside of the left boot. And actually, as well, we were substitute straight after this. So that was a great little, uh, I guess, parting gift to the game. But with a minute to play, we made sure of our spot in the next round. Maxi Gomez's cross converted at the back post by Egerstein. And it was 2-0 the final score. So no problems with the cup tie, uh, I believe the draw was made and we've got Valencia, I think, in uh, the round of 16. So that will be played next episode for you all. But for now then, let's head off into our chance of revenge against Barcelona. And uh, I showed you the league table. It's incredibly close. So we'll call this a title decider, even though we're only like 19 games in. But still, what an episode of games we have had today. Real Madrid and Barcelona twice. Final game of today coming against Barcelona. A chance to hand them a defeat that they gave to us in that Super Copper final. So we'll see if we get the right result against them here. Although I would have preferred it if we do end up with the right results to have been in the Super Copper final. But let's see what the final game has in store for us. Saul trying to find Felix. It bounces through. Dembele helps on his way towards us. And we tried our look and to Stegen has made the save. Elsewhere, Real Madrid have just gone in front in their game. So for the table, if it stays like this, nil-nil in this one, Madrid, or Real Madrid, I should say, will be very happy with the way things are going. To Stegen saves our effort. And that is the first shot of the game as well. It's taken 37 minutes to find it. Saul, good work against Frankie de Jong. As Joe Felix forces the save from To Stegen. As the game goes, it's been fairly even, but Barca haven't really created much. And the two best chances of the game have been from the edge of the penalty area when we forced us to get into the save in the first half. And then Jao Felix has just done the same there with that shot. Seven minutes to go here. And I feel like Barcelona are quite happy with the draw, it feels like, the way they're playing here. Leroy Sane, 30 seconds left. Barcelona seemingly accepting the draw here unless they can get more. Sane exchanges passes, goes through and gives Barca the lead with like literally seconds left. Carbon copy of the Super Copper final. I have to say, Jao Felix there, watch it back. I, I, he just gives up. He just decides not to defend. You can see him there on the screen. In fairness, I don't really track the run of Artur either. And Leroy Sane, who's come off the bench for Barcelona, has given them the lead and given them the win. In an early title decider, may I add, with the way that this season was looking. And, and I will say as well, I feel like from both Barcelona games today, we've probably been slightly the better team, yet they've won both of them by a goal to nil. It, it's annoying because, you know, again here, Barca have not done a lot. I feel like that's their first real chance of the game and they took it. I mean, that's what good teams do. But how have we lost again? I don't understand how we just couldn't keep concentration for that last little bit. Here is the table then at the end of today. We sit third as you would probably be expecting. 
Three points off of Real Madrid and five now off of Barcelona. So we're still not out of this race. Don't let anybody say that. Uh, there's still, what is it, 18 games to go. But um, yeah, that was like an early title decider. And a win there would have been pretty, pretty huge for us, really. Uh, even a draw for that matter, because it would have kept them on to 54 and would have put us on to 52. So to lose it the way we did with pretty much the last kick of the game is very frustrating indeed. But we've uh, we've began our journey then with Atletico. Today I thought it was it thought, it thought it was pretty good actually. We we got through in the semi-final to our first cup final, of course, being defeated by Barca. There, there might be a recurring theme here. Um, we've also got our first goal for the club against Valodid. Uh, before we scored, I believe, again against Granada in a 2-0 win. And then, of course, ending off the day with that 1-0 defeat. But we'll start the next episode with Villarreal in the round of 16 of the Copa de España before games against Ibar and then Real Vallecano before we jump into the live games for Levante. Manchester United, leg one of the round of 16 of the Champions League and Espanyol as well. So until next time, have a great day. Have a great evening. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you are new around here as well and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you all for the next episode very, very soon. Until then, adios.